Hello everybody, welcome uh, to Frank uh, uh, IZX DWF video. And uh, as you may have seen on the uh, on a previous uh, Commodore PET 2001 repair, I've been making uh, a RAM ROM replacement, which was quite simple uh, on on that repair, and then. I've made a second version of that uh, RAM and ROM replacement with some improvements. Um, this much more crowded. This is the design PCB, and I'm currently waiting for the actual PCB boss to be sent to me. And the improvements, uh, as I said on that video, I added. Um, a jumper for every four kilobytes. Here, yeah, jumpers too. Uh, a jumper for every four kilobytes of ROM. So, for the jumper in the internal EEPROM of the this port provides the the address, the 4K address range, and with the jumper out, an external ROM is addressed. And while I was at it, I added some more features. But to understand um, what features, I will uh, first have a look at the Commodore PET memory map. This is the original uh, memory map of the PET 2001. We have RAM starting from zero. All addresses, of, of course, are hexadecimals and ending uh, on a 7FFF if the whole 32 kilobytes are installed otherwise um, there were the original 4 kilobytes version that ended here at 0FFFF uh, the 8 kilobyte version 16 and uh, 32 kilobytes then there is at 8000 there are 1K or 2K, uh, 1K for 40 column pads and uh, 2 kilobytes for uh, 80 column pads. And this is of course is external RAM, external to the to the, the other board I'm making is on the motherboard of the pad and is separate for from the um, main RAM because this part of RAM can be accessed uh, both from the CPU side and uh, uh, from the video uh, make video uh, output circuitry. Then there are optional ROM, basic uh, editor and kernel. Uh, on the editors uh, addressing there are only two kilobytes originally of RAM. And then there is a place for uh, I.O. space, which we'll see in detail uh, just right now. On, on the original uh, PET 2001, to save uh, probably on the coding logic, and uh, because the ROM space was really, uh, really enough, the I.O. ports of the 6520 uh, uh, there are two of them and the 6522 are mapped uh, each 256 bytes but of course the program addressed them only uh, on E8 uh, zone of address memory and those all are all shadows of the same uh, ports uh, actually, there are more shadows inside the, the first uh, page, but that's another story. On the later pads, uh, starting from the 2001N, the I.O. Uh, zone has been cut uh, only to the first uh, block of 256 bytes. But on the 2001N, this uh, remaining space is not used in uh, as a ROM space and cannot be used also easily on the motherboard. 
But on the starting from the FAT40 and the 80 column uh, versions, uh, this space can be used as um, general uh, ROM, an editor ROM. Um, most of the national, uh, uh, incarnation of the uh, leather pads use this part as an editor. And in my first revision, uh, I uh, made uh, the ROM space le just like the 2000, original 2001. So this space cannot be used for ROM. Uh, and that required uh, only uh, decoding one uh, address bit. So in the new revision, I uh, added logic to uh, decode three, uh, four address uh, by bits for address bits and uh, use this space starting from the end of uh, the IO space uh, for uh, ROM again like in the later pads so this added uh, some logic but I added uh, additional logic um, to allow this space uh, on the ROM, which is on the EEPROM, uh, which is not used because this address is used for a video RAM, to be mapped back in the F04K uh, to have another um, selectable uh, kernel image. This the F00 um, address space is used for the kernel, so. In my board, I can map the 8000 space for the EEPROM, which is never used, back to F00, and that added two more logic chips to the to the board. Okay, finally, the new revision PCB uh, arrived here. As you can see, dimension. This is the revision one. Dimensions are almost identical. It's just slightly same weight, just slightly longer. And but features are uh, quite uh, more. There is uh, a jumper for every four kilobytes, as I said, of ROM. And. Um, Compatible with the I.O. space of the newer pad, with the only uh, exception for E8 uh, addressing. And there is an alternate jumper to select uh, additional kernel image. One can, uh, two kernel image for each block of uh, uh, different uh, ROM images that can be selected by another jumper so all in all it can have four different kernel images and two different ROM sets um, so it's uh, quite packed with logic and chips uh, this one was uh, less packed I used uh, quite a few single gates scattered around it took me only two days to design this pcb and took more than two weeks to design the new one uh, i used only two here and here a single lodge single gate and try to pack on a regular logic ic's one here and one here and two more on the other side here yeah. another one should be yes here yeah. the green is uh, what the silver of the tin is not very visible on this light uh, this one is much more visible but anyway let's populate this one and see what happens now I have installed the RAM ROM uh, replacement in my own 3032 board, and uh, what uh, most of the ROM uh, disabled it means is using uh, the original ROMs. 
of the main board but using internal uh, uh, RAM of the replacement port and it appears to work fine now I'll try some combination of uh, ROM images and see if they work as expected So as you have seen before, I also placed the basic for uh, complete image on ROM. I installed a um, couple of test uh, kernels, and uh, the last one is an about one is a complete basic three plus uh, uh, some uh, add-ons. And so I can experiment with uh, uh, extensions without burning uh, uh, separate Abrams uh, uh, but just changing the image on, the, uh, on 27, uh, 512 Abrams uh, that are uh, more common than the 2532 needed for the expansions and so it seems to work very fine uh, selecting different uh, uh, combination of internal and external uh, 4 kilobytes banks so it's working as expected hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching